What's up, Plane Crash Survivors? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play of The Forest. This is episode 6, and we are on Alpha 50. Oh my god, I missed a bunch of videos. Um, You know, The Forest single player kind of got squeezed out of my Let's Play playlist. Uh, I really didn't have any room for it. And we were doing, uh, we were doing, um... We were doing, uh, what do you call it, multiplayer of the forest, so I decided to scrap the single player Let's Play for the time being. Uh, but I always knew I would come back to single player, and uh, it doesn't look like we're going to be doing multiplayer now because of Rust and Seven Days to Die. So, uh, we're going to be doing some more single player of the forest. How about that? So, yeah, we, I missed a couple updates. Um, there was a big update, and then kind of like a, just a bug fix update. I guess 4.9 and 50. Uh, 4.9 was the big update. Um, I didn't take down any notes because... This stuff's all old news to you anyway, but I do remember it, like, we, there's, like, red paint in the world now where you can, like, paint yourself up in red and the uh, cannibals will think you are a god of some kind. And, yeah, so, um, that's pretty interesting. We messed around with that in multiplayer. It's pretty fun. And, um, the other thing is there's, like, a gun you can, like, find parts of and put it together. And what was the other, th what was the other thing, the big thing? Damn it, I don't remember. It was the Oh, hard mode. Yeah, there's, like, a hard mode now. Now, guys, you got to tell me because I'm not really sure how this works, but I'm, I'm kind of under the impression that you can't just turn hard mode on in one of your games. You have to start from the beginning. Is that true? I'm pretty sure that's true. Let me know in the comments. You guys probably know better than I could, than I would. Um, from my very limited, uh, you know, look into, um, my very limited, you know, research into it, uh, because honestly, I wanted to get a video made today, and I didn't have time to look into it. Um, but it sounds like you, you have to start a game from scratch in hard mode, so that's kind of a bummer. But um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna start a new game for hard mode. Plus, like hard mode does sound cool, but the problem is like it'll keep me from like building. So it'll just be me fighting you know cannibals all day every day. So and that's pretty cool, but I'm not gonna start a game over for it. And plus, we got this awesome build here, so we're just gonna continue along with this. We still can't pass the night yet. I did turn up the uh, the color grading to M131 so you guys can see. I'll probably brighten it up while editing, and uh, let's get to work, man. We got a lot of work to do. I've been very lazy. I have not been, uh, uh, stupid bird. I hate you, bird. Come down here. Come down here. If you come down here now, I won't give you a spanking. All right. You got away, bird. I hate you. Uh, we do have some dynamite, so that's cool. We could do some dynamite mining. I'll probably wait until daytime to do that, though. It looks like we need to uh, get some more... We, we need to get some more of these uh, log sleds as well. It looks like we got, what, like five log sleds, maybe? That's not going to do it. That ain't going to work. Oh, I see some light over there. Yeah, something going on over there. You got to be careful. Um, yeah, so... I've kind of like I've kind of like um, been wondering if the forest is on its way out as far as popularity goes. Um, I, you know, I was talking to Game Edge about it, and he said his videos weren't even doing as well as they used to. So I'm wondering if people are kind of tired of the forest. I mean, we've done a lot of forest videos, you know, a lot of forest videos. So, you know, I'm wondering when people are getting bored of it, like or whatever. But um, you know, uh, basically what happened was Civilization Six got bugged on me. Um, for those of you who don't know, I've been doing a Let's Play on Civilization 6. I absolutely adore the game. I love Civilization. Civilization is also one of those rare games that I can actually play where I don't have to grind. So, like, you know, when I sit down and record The Forest or Seven Days to Die or whatever, you know, sometimes it could take me an hour. Sometimes it could take me two hours to make one episode. It doesn't often, it doesn't often take me two hours. I would say um, an hour to maybe pushing an hour and a half for most of these videos. But the cool thing about Civilization VI is there's no grinding. You just sit down and you play the game. It's wonderful. Uh, the bad thing about Civilization VI is people do not want to see me play it. It's doing horrible on my channel. Um, the people who are watching it love it, and they don't want it to go anywhere. But they understand that, like you know, I gotta do what's I gotta do what's best for my channel and what most people want to see. Um, and even though I love Civ VI, it's not like I don't love these games as well. I love every game I play. So um, yeah. So what happened in Civ VI? Finally, episode twenty-two. My world's bugged, and it's um it's a game killing bug. I can't I literally can't play the game, so that's kind of a bummer. So I was like, you know what? I need something to fill in. Oh, what's over here? Looks like we got a guy over here. What's he doing? It looks like he's kind of looking up. Oh, they're praying. Hold on, let's go see what's going on. I gotta find some red paint. I know where there's red paint. Oh, 
They're done praying. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm going to get some red paint and show you guys. It's so cool. I'm not going to do it this video, but I'm going to show you. It's it's so cool when they like when you're when you're painted red. They'll like they think you're a god and they'll start like praying to you and stuff. It's freaking awesome. But anyway, yeah, so Civ 6 is out. I'm going to give it a week and um, you know, see if they fix it. If they don't, it's not going to be back. If they do, it might come back, it might not. I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to think about it because I love the game and it's and it's and making the videos is a lot faster than these videos, but it just doesn't do that well on my channel. And I was thinking, well, maybe if I just keep making videos, people will eventually I start building an audience for those types of games. Maybe. The problem is I don't play those types of games usually. I play Civ and that's it. I don't play Hearts of Iron. I don't play EU4. I don't play any of those games. Um, I did play Master of Orion, uh, which was an early access 4X game. Um, but, you know, it was alright, but it's not Civ 6. Civ 6 is the only game of that I really like, so. Uh, I really like to branch out on my channel and kind of like, you know, uh, well, yeah, exactly, branch out, but it just doesn't seem to be working that well. And um, I'm not really going to play a lot of these games, so. The only game I'll play like that is Civ 6. So, building up a channel following for those games is not even really going to help me. Because, you know, I only play Civ 6. So, I don't know. Just something I was thinking about. But, um, I'm going to be doing the forest for a week or two. And we're going to see where it goes. If this, if this, um, if this series gets the support. Actually, I'm probably going to do the forest for a while. Because they, another thing I was wondering about the forest is, they've got a big update coming out, guys. Okay, uh, four nine was a pretty nice update with the with the red paint and the hard mode and the gun that you could put together. But I'm thinking, uh, five. By the way, five zero was just like bug fixes and stuff. But I think the next one will be December fourteenth, and December fourteenth is going to be maybe the biggest update this game's ever had. They're going to be putting in the story mode. So, and I was talking to Game Edge. I was like, Game Edge, are you going to start over for the story mode? And he was like, hell no, I'm just going to keep playing because people want to see that stuff, you know, sooner rather than later. And I was like, is it going to mess up your game? Game Edge seems to think that the story mode is not going to mess up your game. Um, I, I I think if you, I don't know, maybe if you go down, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. It might mess up my game, it might not. But I'm not going to start over for the next update. And if it did mess up my game, then I'll start over and we'll take it from there. But I think that... um. I think that story mode update is going to be a big upswing for this game, and I'm thinking like a lot of people are going to want to see it. So I will definitely be, I'll definitely be, be having a. If you guys are fans of the forest, and I'm guessing you are because you're watching this video, I will be having uh, videos going up well into December, probably probably into January, and then we'll take we'll take it from there. I'm kind of I'm kind of in the lookout for new games, but I don't really see anything that's like blowing my skirt up or anything. And that's just a figure of speech. I don't wear skirts, but uh, whatever. <laughs> I hope you understood that, but eh, whatever. It's all good. Not that there's anything wrong with guys wearing skirts. If a guy wants to wear a skirt, yeah, God bless him. It's just not my thing. I don't judge. All right, so... Yeah, so, um... Yeah, I'm looking for some new games, but I can't find anything. I was looking at Novus Incognito or Inceptio or something like that. Um, someone talk, told me about that game. I looked into it. It doesn't look very good. Um, I was looking at a game today. What the hell was I looking at? Oh, I was looking at Eco. Uh, there's a game called Eco Survival Thing. Um, it's kind of like, think about Minecraft, but kind of like... Uh, there's, there's like, world... Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Alright, imagine Minecraft, but if you cut down too many trees, the world starts to die. You know? It's got like an... Uh, like an ecological, like, you know, thing to it. Where it has so many animals. I, I, I don't know a ton about it, but I do know, like, you can mess up your world by, you know, doing too much of, you know, cutting down trees or maybe killing too many animals or whatever. Uh, so it sounds pretty interesting, but um, it's it's still an early off. It's not even on Steam. I might I might get a hold of the devs if I can, or maybe I'll just buy it outright. Um, it's like $40, though. Um, it looks pretty interesting, but I don't know. I'm going to think about that. So I was looking at that game, Eco, and um, and I was looking at revisiting some old games. I was looking at, like, Subnautica. Um, honestly, I was kind of on the fence about uh, The Forest or Subnautica, and obviously I went with The Forest. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get back to Subnautica, but I will someday. But looking back at, you know, and when I mention numbers, guys, it's not like, it's not so much like, oh, my God, I, I want to make so much money and get rid. No, it's more like I just want to do the games that are going to, 
help my channel and and also the get the kind of games that you guys want to see you know what i mean like if i do civilization six and it gets like a thousand views and then i do the forest and it gets three thousand views well what does that tell you it tells you more people want to see the forest and um hey man i love civ six and i know there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna miss it um but I i'll tell you right now if they fix the bug I'll i'm gonna try to bring it back s some way without getting rid of the forest i'm not really sure how but i'm gonna have to think about that but um yeah i mean it's just I, I gotta i'm i guess i'm a fan of democracy you know <laughs> like you know like the the people what most of the people want to see is what i'm gonna do um as well as i'm still trying to branch out so um, i'm trying to think of some other games oh there's a new game called conan exiles or something like that and that's coming out beginning of next year i'm actually definitely i'm that game looks freaking sick um, I'm going to actually get a hold of the devs probably this weekend and see if I can get an early copy or something. Cause man, Conan, I forget the whole name of the game, but it looks awesome. Um, at first when I started watching it, it looked like the typical survival thing with PVP. It reminded me a lot of, of, um, not Rust, but it reminded me a lot of, uh, what was that game? Um, Ark. It reminded me a lot of Ark. And I, and like the first thing I saw was PVP during their little intro video. And I was like, Oh, another one of these. But then they started showing, like, the rest of the video was all about you fighting, like, AI, which I'm totally into. And, like, they had a big, like, like the game sounds sick, man. Like, I, I read somewhere that you can, like, capture a guy. Not a real person. I, I'm not going to be playing PvP in this game, by the way. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming they meant AI. So you can get capture a guy and bring him back to your, like, camp and cut his heart out. And then, like, like you can turn him into a slave for you. And he could fight things for you. It, it sounds crazy, crazy shit. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna look into. It. I'm gonna start copying down all the things that they said because I only read it quickly today. But yeah, you could defeat your enemies and turn them into your slaves, so they can fight for you. And um, they also said I read, and this is what really got me excited about the game. They said you can play single player, you can play multiplayer, you can play co-op, you can set up your own servers with your own rules. Oh. Man, I'm psyched. I'm psyched. I can't wait until the new year, though, man. They gotta, they gotta hook me up, man. Oh, I can't wait. It's gonna be so cool. And um, a lot of big publications are talking about this game, and um, I think it might be the next big one. It might be the next arc, possibly. So not only am I super interested in it because it sounds like it's right up my alley, but hey, it sounds like it's actually gonna be a popular game. A lot of games I play that I like do well with and whatever aren't just aren't popular and i don't do well i, I mean i i do well with them but they don't really grow my channel that much because they're just not popular like i cannot for the life of me understand why imperion galactic survival is not bigger i just don't get it that game is really really fun and it's just not that big i've been doing videos on it since before launch if you actually go in the search list for youtube i'm like the whole first page it's incredible but that game is just not that big. I just I don't get it. Um, everyone loves Space Engineers. Nobody loves uh, nobody loves Imperion. Now, don't get me wrong. Space Engineers has things that Imperion does not. I get that. But Imperion has a lot of stuff that Space Engineers does not. So, yeah. I mean, you know, I don't. I'm not saying Space Engineers shouldn't be big. I'm just saying they should both be big. They both offer really cool experiences, and people should be playing both. If you like Space Engineers, you're probably gonna like Imperion. I mean, I don't know. That's just the way I feel about it. Maybe. I, Maybe, I mean, everyone has their own opinions, and everyone thinks differently, so. But, um, yeah, so, yeah, so, uh, Conan, it might be the next big one, guys. Might be the next big one. I'm gonna, I gotta get in touch with the devs. Faux show. So, yeah, so I got a couple games on, I'm looking at, and, um, like I said, Subnautica, I was thinking about bringing back Subnautica. Um, I looked at the numbers on Subnautica, and, like, it, it did alright, but The Forest did better. It seems like you guys like me playing The Forest more. The problem with Subnautica is a lot of big YouTubers doing it. I think they're still doing it. I'm not really sure. But Subnautica got really big with a lot of big YouTubers. So that kind of pushes someone like me out. So i got to be very careful, you know, what game I do. Although I, I did Rust. and uh, I mean, not Rust. I got Rust on the brain. Um, because, in case you guys don't know, we started a Rust PvP Let's Play series. I think I mentioned that, but I'll mention it again. Um, but, I, yeah, I meant, I meant Ark. I, I did pretty well with Ark. Ark. Um, I actually did pretty well with this game. This game was huge. This would be a, hell, man, this was played by PewDiePie at one point. Um, not, I don't think he played it for long. I mean, maybe he only did one video, but it was still, this was, this game was played by a lot of big YouTubers, but I think what happened with, with The Forest was those big YouTubers stopped playing it, 
and there were still a lot of people out there that wanted to see videos, and I was there to kind of, you know, provide some of those videos. So I did I did pretty well with this game. Um, so, so it's also the reason I, I don't do well with Civilization. Um, first of all, I'm not a Civilization guru. There's a lot about that game I still don't know. Second of all, there's a lot of big YouTubers who know a lot of, more about that game than I do. So, you know, it's, it's hard to compete with people like Quill18. I mean, he's just a really good YouTuber, in my opinion. I'm very picky on what YouTubers I like to watch, and Quill18 I could watch all day. And I'm very picky with my YouTubers. So I don't watch a lot of YouTube. You know, being a YouTuber, I can't I can't watch someone who I don't like. Um, not that I don't like them personally, I just don't like their style. I'm not even calling them a bad YouTuber, I'm just saying I don't like their style. Uh, do I have to go up there now? Yeah, I do. Shoot. Nope, we can still jump and get that one. Come on, damn you. Come on, son of a beeswax. See, I think this is the problem with this game. Hard mode might be too hard, and this normal mode seems too easy. I wish they'd let me switch this to hard mode. That way, if it's too much, I can always switch it back. Maybe I could set it to hard mode every other video or something. Or every third video. Right, let's get up here. We got some work to do. Come on. So what we do is we go like this. And like this. Push this back here. I love this freaking raft, man. I don't know why. This kind of stuff just tickles me. Like, I just... I don't know. I just think it's so cool. I'm so glad they fixed it. Remember when this raft was a big steaming pile? Oh, crap. Hey, stop attacking my things, you jerk. What's your freaking problem? Now I'm going to repair it. Where are you going? Nice boobies, lady. You make a lot of sound for someone not doing a lot of damage. I'm going to be wearing your bones, too. To repair this thing. You okay, buddy? You guys need some lozenge or something, man. You sound like your voices are going or something. Did I ever make a fire? I gotta make a fire. I gotta burn these bitches. Alright, let's go ahead and burn them. I was hoping to get around to this, uh, to building this today, but now I don't know. I would have if I didn't get attacked. Light it up. All right, guys, we got to get some bones. Bones for days. They took out some of my bone armor. I don't appreciate that. Let's go ahead and repair this. I forgot they uh, they go for your rack. By the way, they took my food off there too. Also, it doesn't seem to rain in the game anymore, so I'm, I, like the rain catch is kind of useless. We were having that problem on the multiplayer server as well. Okay, bloody boobies. Get on there. There you go. Alright. Alright, so let's uh, continue working while that's doing its thing. Um, I don't think I have any more logs over there, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna not... I was gonna chop down some more trees, but I think we probably have enough. What I'll do is I'll bring all the... Uh, all the log sleds out here and probably use some more TNT next time I record. Or uh, maybe I'll do some grinding off camera. We'll see. See how things go. Whoop. There we go. Feathers! Oh, I got his head. I don't need your head. What I need to do is repair that. Oh, look at all these bones and skulls. I love it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Okay. If you ever want to put the skull somewhere, you can make a catapult. And the catapult will hold skulls for you. 
I should probably make one now, but I'm kind of in a hurry, so I'm not going to. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. And one, two, three, five, six. One, two, three. There we go. Got some more bone armor. All right, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and uh, put these things down. I think we have enough. How do we go? Oh, yeah. We got a left mouse click. I forgot. You know, I'm a little worried about this thing. Oh, you know what? When this is finished, we're going to have to put these on from the log sled. We, we don't, or from the, um, from the houseboat. We don't want to put the houseboat inside like we were doing before. We got to like stop right here because if the houseboat's in there when it finishes, I don't know what's going to happen, but it's not going to be good. Okay. Well, this works well. I probably should have done it like this last time, honestly. Okay. Looking good. So you guys are excited to see the forest back? Are you, like, sad to see civilization gone? Um, at least for now. Uh, were you hoping I would do Subnautica? Let me know what you guys think. I, I really want to know what you guys think. And, um, honestly, it could have been this or Subnautica. The only, the thing that put me over the edge with this over Subnautica was the numbers were better on this than Subnautica. More people watched this series when I, when I stopped it than Subnautica. So, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, I'm happy to be doing more of this game. It's pretty cool. The only re part of the reason I stopped doing this game too is because, um, like Game Edge makes such incredible stuff. Like, my stuff kind of sucks in comparison, so I'm like, eh, why bother, you know? But, whatever, man. If you guys watch, I'll play. I mean, I like playing. I just feel like I build something and I'm really proud of it. I'm like, yeah, that's really cool. And then I go look at Game Edge's video and I'm like, oh, my stuff sucks. What a waste. So. <laughs> it's not always about who builds the best stuff, though, guys. It's about, you know, the video quality, the commentary, the way you cut and edit your videos. You know, I mean, Game Edge's videos are awesome. But what I'm saying is, even though I don't build stuff as good as him, I can still compete. <laughs> I didn't really realize I can get these from the bottom. I could probably even put them in from the bottom as well. That's pretty sweet. Look at this. Let's grab these two. Or these as well. I could probably I probably fit about 100 logs on this thing. I should, do, I should actually count it someday. See how many logs I can fit on there. Okay, almost done. Almost done, guys. You excited? I know you are. One more. Boom! Check it out. Oh, can't get up there. Uh, I know a way to get up there. Come on. Get up there, man. Oh, crap. I can't get around. Oh, there we go. Boom! Hells yeah. Got some rope. Probably cut a hole in this right here so we can get in there. Maybe put some railings around this thing. I'm not really sure. I'll have to figure it out. But um, you heard the timer, so we're going to call this one here. That is going to be it for episode six. And we'll see you next time for episode seven. Till then, take it easy.